The tech world is buzzing, and Samsung might be about to flip the script on mid-range smartphones in ways you didn't see coming. A phone that not only rivals last year's flagships but could quietly outperform them in areas most people don't even notice, charging speed, connectivity, and AI-powered photography. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly why the Galaxy A57 could make everyone rethink what a mid-range phone really means. Welcome back viewers, Sam here, like, share, and subscribe for more! Let's start with something that's been quietly shaping the conversation software. The Galaxy A57 isn't just another incremental update. Early leaks suggest it will ship with Android 16 and One UI 8, 5 straight out of the box. That's a serious jump from the A56, which launched on Android 15 and only later received its update. Smarter AI editing tools, smoother multitasking, and subtle, but satisfying, animations across apps could make the A57 feel fresh from day one. And if you're someone who hates waiting for updates, this alone could justify the upgrade. But software is just the beginning. Cameras are where Samsung often plays its magic, and the A57 could be no exception. On paper, the setup looks familiar. 50MP main camera with OICE, 12VMP macro, and a 12MP front shooter capable of 4K video at 30fps. Yet the whispers online hint at improved sensors and AI processing tweaks that could mean noticeably brighter low, light shots, richer colors, and more consistent skin tones. Think of it like taking everything the A56 did well and refining it in ways that aren't obvious until you actually start shooting photos. Here's where it gets really interesting. Bluetooth 6.1. Yes, the Galaxy A57 could become one of the first upper mid-range phones to support it. Why should you care? Two reasons first, enhanced privacy protection that makes it much harder for devices to track you. Second, major gains in power efficiency, meaning your phone, earbuds, and even your smartwatch last longer between charges. Imagine an entire ecosystem that just works more smoothly together, with fewer battery headaches. Rumors even suggest that Samsung's next Galaxy Buds 4 Pro will leverage Bluetooth 612, which could create a seamless, smarter experience for anyone invested in Samsung devices. Performance-wise, the A57 seems poised to make a quiet leap. It's expected to use the Exynos 550 GPU, a step up from the A56 Exynos 540, built on AMD's RDNA 3, 5 architecture. That translates to stronger gaming performance without the usual battery drain. Coupled with its rumored 45W fast charging, this mid-range device might keep up with, and sometimes surpass, entry-level flagships in everyday use. Fast, efficient, and capable. The A57 seems designed to blur the line between mid, range, and flagship territory. And here's a nugget that might surprise you. The Galaxy A57 could charge faster than Samsung's rumored S26 series flagship. Despite being a mid-range device, it may support full 450W wired charging, leaving the S26 2050W setup in the dust. That means you could spend less time tethered to a wall outlet and more time actually using your phone, something most people don't expect from a mid-range model. Design-wise, early leaks show a phone that's familiar yet refined a slim frame, polished rear panel, and camera module that doesn't scream for attention. It's like Samsung has taken all the lessons from the A56 and polished them quietly, making a device that's both capable and understated. Sometimes subtlety makes the biggest impact, especially when the tech inside is quietly breaking new ground. Now, here's the tricky question, is the A57 worth waiting for, or should you consider a discounted older flagship? The A57 packs smart upgrades, efficient performance, faster charging, and smoother software, but older flagships still offer premium, build quality and raw power. It's the classic debate of feature polish versus brute specs, and it might not have a one, size, fits, all answer. That's where your input matters, drop your thoughts in the comments, because this is the kind of decision every tech enthusiast loves to weigh in on. And speaking of surprises, there's one more hidden upgrade that's generating chatter. AI, assisted image processing improvements across Samsung's native camera apps. If true, this could mean better night photography, 
quicker scene recognition, and even smarter video stabilization. It's not just about pixels, it's about turning everyday shots into something that looks closer to what a professional might capture. Imagine snapping photos at a dim concert or capturing your evening walk with precision and color richness that makes your social feed pop. Battery life also seems optimized. Early rumors indicate that efficiency improvements in both the Exynos 550 GPU and Android 16's power management could make the A57 last longer than expected, even with heavy usage. Combine that with fast charging and smart Bluetooth 6. One management and you have a phone designed to keep up with a modern, always connected lifestyle. It's the kind of under-the-radar upgrade that often matters more in day-to-day -day life than flashy headline specs. So, what's the takeaway? The Galaxy A57 isn't just a minor refresh. It's a strategic, thoughtful step in Samsung's mid-range evolution, faster, smarter, more connected, and potentially more desirable than many expect. Whether you're a loyal Samsung fan or a tech enthusiast looking for a phone that punches above its weight, this device might just change the conversation about what mid-range really means. And if you've made it this far, thanks for sticking around. Your curiosity is exactly why we dive deep into these leaks and rumors. Don't forget to hit the comments below with your take would you wait for the A57 or snag a discounted flagship instead? Also, share your questions or predictions. Who knows, your comment could spark the next big discussion in the tech world. And if you haven't already, like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon, because we're diving into more behind the scenes tech secrets every week.